Let's look at measures 1 through 8, uh, the section 1. As discussed in the previous video, this begins in the key of C and it ends in the key of G. We'll discuss the modulation as we get to it, but the first three phrases all stay in the key of C. So here we've got 1, 5, 4, 3, 1, 6, 5, 6, 1, 2, 6, 5. Again, a lot of 1, 5, 1. Very end, we go 2, 6, 5 to set up our half cadence. Here, this is 1, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1. And now we get a chromatically altered chord, E, G sharp, B, D. E is 5 of A. A is 6 in the key of C. So this is a 5, 4, 3 of 6. Going to 6 in the root position. And again, here we get uh, four chord, FAC, going to five. Again, a very strong and solid half cadence. Moving into the next phrase. One, this is like the very beginning. Five, four, three, one, six, five, six, one. And then this chord up here that was a D minor chord becomes a D7 chord. And this becomes five, four, three, five, going to five, six. Again, a half cadence, but a fairly weak one. Now we know that the next phrase modulates to the key of G. And we know that because uh, F sharp enters, we go very strongly five to one in the key of G. And the one is strengthened through cadential six, four and the seventh. So we know that all of this is 5, 8, 6, 4, 7, 5, 3 in the key of G. This chord right here is a C-sharp fully diminished 7th chord. The purpose of that chord is to lead us to this 5 chord. So this is 7 diminished 7 of 5 in the key of G. So let's look at this chord right here. This is an A minor 7 chord. A, C, E, G. In the key of C, that would be 6, 6, 5, because it's in first inversion. And here in the key of G, this would be 2, 6, 5. Okay, so hopefully your analysis matched that pretty closely. So what we're going to do now is take the second phrase and convert it into a figured bass. So I put the staff underneath here, and uh, we're going to convert this into a figured bass. So I'll start it out for you. We're in C major. Just going to copy the bass line. I'm just going to do this quarter notes. You might want to pause the video and you can try this yourself and then compare uh, what you get with what I get. And I'll tell you the way I'm going to do this is copy the bass line and then insert the proper figures, like this would be a 4 3. Okay? So why don't you stop the video for a moment, write out the bass line, and add the figures. Okay, so now that we're back, I'm going to continue this. You can compare yours with mine. I've written everything as simple as possible, no rests. And here we've got Root position, 4, 3, 6, 6. This is a root position chord. This is a 4, 3, and we're going to need to have the 6, 4, 3 so that we can have the sharp 6 to tell us that there should be an F sharp in this chord. This is the 6, first inversion chord. 
6, 5. Here we've got C sharp, E, G, B flat. So that's a 7, and the 7th above the bass is flatted. This is a 6, 4. This is a 7 with a sharp. The sharp tells us that the F is sharped. And then we have the root position triad. All that's left is to part right this. Uh, I'd like you to part right this, and then I will post an answer key of this entire page, and you can compare your part writing to mine. After you've done that, upload that as uh, the step three assignment.